cool. Thank you for having me. Isn't this cool? Yeah. You're in you're in Fredno's chair, like literally their table yeah. and their chair, and I've got Freddie's chair. Yeah, thanks, Fred. I can't thank you enough for being our first artist to open up this series. Um, it's a special thing, so so thank you for that. Yeah, thank you all so much right? for having me. What do you think about everything happening to you? Like, a lot of people say you've had this meteoric rise. I mean, does it does it feel like whoa? Like this has only been a couple of years. Um, man, honestly, when when you're looking at it from the outside, you know, when I when I take a step back and look at. Uh, you know how far it's come from the very beginning then yeah you know uh, it feels like that but when you're in it and you're busy all the time and you know just focused on getting to the next show you don't you really don't have time to think about it so and i try to just kind of stay out forward with the whole thing i love hearing about artists background and we wanted this to really focus on kentucky singer songwriters and you know men and women that are coming up onto the scene i want to hear more about like your background in boyd county okay. we did a whole show out in ashland and i mean we loved it and yeah. the people loved having us there and there is such a sense of pride yeah. about being from boyd county i Absolutely. mean talk about what life was like there growing up oh it was great uh you know i, I had a great childhood uh boyd county is a good place to grow up um, it's far enough out to where you can get secluded if you need to be, but it's close enough to town to get somewhere and you got a Walmart 15 minutes yeah. from you if you need to go to the store. Uh, but, but it was great. And like I said, there's a lot of county pride, uh, Boyd County Lions. Um, when I was in school, it was a uh, soccer team and baseball were really good. So, uh, stuff like that, you know. Did music, like, did that happen in your household? Do you have brothers and sisters that, that played? Like, how did this all come about for you? Um, the only members of my direct family that are musicians are my stepfather, Scott Sword, and my grandmother, Charlene. She plays piano at a Wolf Creek Baptist Church in Grayson, Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, but as far as traditional music goes, nobody... Nobody really played that. That was something I kind of fell into on my own. Wow. I love your philosophy when I asked you, you know, what are you working on? How soon is it coming out? And your response is, when it's ready. Yeah. That's a really good approach to have until it's ready. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe in I don't believe in pressuring yourself to get things done. Um, now, I do think pressure, you know, people say pressure yeah. creates diamonds. And, and that, that is true to a certain extent. But I don't believe in deadlines, especially not from other people for my art. So, you know, I, I write when I feel like something needs to be written. And other than that, I just play and work on my uh, skills as a musician. Right. As a songwriter, do you have to be in a, in a place that makes you feel... It, is that location, that place important to your process? Or can you just... Are you one of those that can write anywhere? Uh, absolutely. No, I think that creation can take place anywhere that sparks creativity in a person. But for me, if I feel like I need to go right, then I want to be home. And I want to be in a place where I feel totally comfortable. You know, you think about where you're from and your whole singer-songwriter approach and who you are as an artist. I mean, it has to cross your mind. Wow, Country Music Highway. Chris Stapleton, Loretta Lynn, like... I mean, I get chills when I'm listening to you and I'm thinking of where you're from and who else is from there. I mean, how does that big picture register for you that what what is in the water here? A lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure. A lot to live up to. Big yeah. shoes to fill. Well, we know you have a, a lot of events, a lot of concerts, a lot of performances coming up. What are you most looking forward to the next couple of months? Well, I'm getting to play at the Grand Ole Opry at oh, the National you. Wild Turkey Federation Convention. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. That's going to be very good. Uh, I'll be opening for John Anderson in Ashland at the Paramount on January 27th, I believe. And that'll be a really good one. John Anderson's one of those guys for me. He's, like, he's up there. You know? Any advice you'd give another songwriter out there, another artist that's like doing another job in your shoes just a couple of years ago that's thinking about this is a tough business and a lot of intimidating people and I think you are very you are very true to you yeah and that's very hard 
to, to be like that and continue to be like that in this particular business, what advice would you give that other person in your shoes, Cole at 19? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it might, as cliche as it might sound, find, find yourself, find who you want to be as an artist and do that. Yeah. Don't, don't try to be anybody else because you can't be anyone else. You have your own story that is unique to yourself. So tell that story. That's what people want to hear. You don't need to put anything else on. Just, just be honest about it. Cool. Thank you so much for being Thank you. the first artist in this series. Yes, Best ma'am. of luck. Thank you all so much for having me.